Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm here to do my weekly melt. And I melted a lot. I didn't actually burn any candles this week. I don't know why. Um, I'm starting to think that I'm going to stop buying candles. I know. How horrible is that? Um, I'm just not getting the same scent bro as I get from a tart, you know? And I'm getting really spoiled with my tarts that I want to smell stuff like... I want it to hit me in the face, and I don't get that with candles. Like, I have a leaves one burning, like, right here right now, right next to me from Bath & Body Works. Still doesn't have a full pool. I think it's going to tunnel, and I don't get any scent throw from it right now. So it's annoying. I don't want to have to keep driving over to exchange candles, you know. But whatever, that's not what this video is about. Let's get started. I only, I only melted one from the Baden Garden this week, and it is Vintage Circus, and I finished it. I love this scent. As you can tell, it's finished. You have all the little heart glitter still in here. <laughs> but this is so yummy. This is definitely one of my favorites from the Baden Garden. I have more backups, thank God. Um, I should have a Baden Garden haul coming soon. I just got the click and ship from her. Her turnaround time is taking a while now. It's taking more than 10 days because um, a lot of people ordering from the contest and just she's still not feeling well, you know, from the surgery she had to do. But this is candy apple in the bottom. Um, I think people have said it's like winter candy apple. I'm not sure, but I know it's a candy apple scent and it's sugar, um, blue cotton candy on top. And I love this. I have this on my warmer upstairs right now in my bedroom. I love this. For some reason, uh, I'm not sure. My husband thinks this is, he calls this, okay, this is more than PG-13. So if anyone listening is not an adult, close your ears right now. But he says, he's like, I always ask him, babe, what's the name of this scent? He goes, sex. I'm like, what the heck do you mean? He goes, it smells smells good it smells like it should be a sexy scent I'm like whatever so this is really really good and i have it in my bedroom because he loves to smell this from rose girls i only melted one and this is pink sugar home homespun sugar and it was in one of those chunky tarts this is really good i got a full day scent throw out of this you smell mostly the pink sugar than anything else. It's just a very, very sweet, like bakery almost pink sugar. So I really like this. I got a full day. I would say I put it in my warmer in the morning when I woke up. And um, it lasted all day long. And I think I changed it by around 7 o'clock at night. Just because I wanted a new scent. And because... The wax started smelling burn, like, because all my light bulbs now are 40 watts, so they're kind of like a 24 watt hot plate where they'll burn the scent quick, but at least I'll get a really strong scent throw, so I'm okay with that. Um, so that's finished. I love Rose Girls. I recommend anyone getting them. They're a little pricier, but you'll get pretty strong scent throw. From Scentsy, I've melted one this week, and it's Tangelo or Tangelo. I don't even know how to say this, but it's this one right here. And I forgot what the description of this is. But it's just really good. It's like a citrusy scent. I don't know what else is in here. Smells like oranges, maybe like um, like tangerine. I really like it. It's good. It lasted a really long time. Um, with Scentsy, I always recommend melting them on a Scentsy warmer because the wax is really soft. The wax is made for a low wattage. If you put it on a high wattage thing, the scent will go right away. <laughs> and you'll feel like you got no scent though. Excuse me. I melted... Um, from Kim Sartre's leaves, like the Bath and Body Works leaves type. And this, I would have to say, it's pretty much, I would say a dead on dupe for slacking leaves. So, 
I really like this. Um, I'm not a big fan of Kim's, but this is one that I really enjoy. And if you guys know any other companies that does a really great dupe of leaves, let me know. Just because I don't think I will make an order with Kim's again. So, it just sucks because I really like leaves. So, let me know if there's another one that you guys could tell me it's like a dead-on dupe. From Sniff My Tarts. Now, thanks to Air and Making Sense, I am obsessed. Let me see if this is all I melted from them. Yeah. I love Sniff My Tarts. Like, the Centro is super strong. It smells so good, and it lasts a long time. And you can melt it in any warmer because it's a soft, soft wax. To the point that, just like my country home scents, they melt very easy in the mail. So I melted Serendipity from Sniff My Tart. And you guys know I love Serendipity. Um, I've been, I think I was one of like the first ones to be like Serendipity, Serendipity. I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. Because I love sickly sweet scents and Serendipity is super sweet. So hers is exactly like I like it. Very creamy. I can smell the coconut. And it's not heavy on the cherry, which is what I like. I'm not a cherry lover. So I recommend Sniff My Tarts to everyone. If you haven't tried it, go get it. And I was commenting on their website on Facebook. I was asking them if they had those chunks, like the chunks that I showed you guys on my, my Sniff My Tarts video. And they said, yeah, they have it on the blend creator. So if you go on left hand side it says create your own blend or blend creator that you can get the chunks and you can create your own blend and they're bags of eight ounces for i think eight dollars so go check it out really good then from them also i melted a pink sugar cookie you see how the bag looks that's because they are super soft wax so they do melt pink sugar cookie is amazing I know, I know, I sound like a broken record, but so good. Once again, the pink sugar overpowers everything, and anybody who likes pink sugar knows that happens. It's an overpowering scent, just like zucchini. So this, you smell a lot of the pink sugar, not so much of the cookie, but both of them mixed together, so, like softens the pink sugar a little more, and this is just awesome go get you some sniff my tarts right now from pigs petals and scents i melted to fairy taffy now this scent is really good um how do i even explain this i don't even know it's like really sweet smells like there's some fruits in here but who knows um i've melted two or three from Pigs, Petals, and Scent so far. And I get a scent throw, but it's always a light scent throw. It's never a strong, strong, like with the Sniff My Tarts, I got a uh, in-your-face strong throw. With Pig Petals and Scent, not so much. It's pleasant. The scent was very pleasant. Um, you could smell it. It was more of like leave the room, come back, you could smell it. But it's not a strong scent throw. So I'm not a fan of this company right now. Um, I still have stuff to melt from them. Maybe my opinion will change. But right now, I would not repurchase from Pix Petals and Scent. Then from Shea Scents, which I love, I melted Blueberry Lemonade, which I got on my stash, my D stash. And this was awesome. I love her blueberry scents. The blueberry was so strong, so sweet, and you can smell that fizziness from the lemonade. It almost like tickles your, your nose. So this was great. The scent throw on this was like super duper super strong. Um, I had this melting in my office at work. My coworkers kept shutting it off because they said it was too strong. It was giving them a headache. It's because they're not like candle lovers at all, but... I kept turning it on. I'm like, it's my office. Go out. But I guess it was seeping through and it was going through their offices. <laughs> like the fog. <laughs> but so every time I got up to go to the bathroom or get coffee, when I came back, my warmer was off. I was getting so pissed. 
So I froze the little plate and I brought it back and I'm gonna melt it today. So um, it was in my warmer for a whole day and it's still like a, a lot of scent left. So 10 out of 10 for this one. Recommended, will repurchase. I'm probably gonna be putting a order with Shea soon. It won't be big like my last ones. I'm just gonna get my favorites in like the six packs. Um, also, we'll tr probably get another order from Haley's and just do the same, just get my favorites. I'm tired of like trying out so much stuff. You believe that? I'm tired of trying out stuff. Okay, from Lasting Scents, I've melted two. I melted Sweet Dreams. And Sweet Dreams is really good. It's like, it smells like a very sweet bakery scent. A lot of sugar. Like, God, I need to start writing the description of these scents down for you guys. Because I don't know how to explain this. I know I could smell, I could smell a little bit of lavender. Almost smells like a lavender with the pink sugar, but I don't think that's it. But it's just so, so, so good. Um, the awesome thing about Lasting Scents is that everything you guys try from them, it's going to be in your face, like, super strong. You're never going to get disappointed with the scent throw from them but they do not last long which it's kind of funny because their names is lasting scents but i usually get from lasting scents four to five hours at the most which i don't mind i'm one of those people that i rather get strong in my face scent that i'm just gonna be like this for five hours than to have a scent that lasts like two days but i have to like be on top of the warmer to smell it so I love Sweet Dreams. I would repurchase. Then I melted Spearmint and Basil, which I was so excited about when I saw this on the D-Stash. But I'm... S oh, God. I got oil everywhere now. Ugh. But I'm so disappointed with this. Um, I could smell it, but the scent throw was so... Which is funny, because I just said you'd never get disappointed. I guess I forgot about this one. The scent throw on this was so light. It was there. I could smell it. It was in my bedroom at night. But I kept having to go like, like sniff in to smell it. It wasn't something that every time I breathe, I could smell it. It sucks because it's so strong right now in the container. But it was just a very weak scent throw. I would not repurchase this one. All right, we're almost done. So from Sensationals, I melted Calypso Sands. Sands. And this was melted in my daughter's room in a light bulb warmer. Amazing. This is a light floral and honeydew over fresh breeze. This is an amazing scent. I don't smell much floral at all. It almost smells tropical to me. I can smell the honeydew. I would say even like a hint of coconut, even though it doesn't say there is. And I smell like the air scent, like it's an outside scent, but it's a sweet one and it's like not overpowering. The scent throw with this was very strong. I was surprised. I thought it was going to be super weak. It was very strong and I had this in her warmer for two full days and it was just so soothing. So I really, really love this one. From Better Homes and Garden, I melted two cubes of shimmering cherry blossom. And I got this from the round robin that was going around. This is a floral scent, which I don't like floral, but this one was so good. It's like a light scent that just smells so... Even my husband was like, this is such a good smelling scent. And it's hard to explain. I've never seen a cherry blossom. I know they're very... Um, you can see them in Japan a lot, but I've never seen an actual cherry blossom. But this smells so good. I'm disappointed with it though. The scent throw was very, very light. I had to put two cubes on a hot plate warmer and I still got, I could smell it, but it was light. So I don't know if I would repurchase this one. From Kim's, I forgot, okay. From Kim's, I melted cotton candy, which was really good. Um, I could smell the cotton candy right away. It had a very strong scent throw, but this did not last more than three hours. 
So, um, I don't think I would repurchase her cotton candy. Like I said, I don't think I will place another order with Kim. Just, I don't know. Just hit and miss with her stuff. From Slacken, I melted a farm stand apple, a mini. And this is all I do. Like, you can put this in the freezer and leave it there for a little bit. And then you just pop the, hit the back and it will come right off. So you could cut it. Or I don't even want to do all that. I usually just put a butter knife in there and cut it in force. It's a little annoying. You have to wiggle it around a little bit. But, you know. I melted this upstairs in my bedroom. And this is a really good scent. This smells exactly to me like Yankee Candles Macintosh Apple. Just a little bit stronger. But I love this. I would recommend it. I wish I would have gotten this and a three wick i probably still will so this is said to be the sparkling orchard this sparkling orchard favorite is a reminiscent of a bright sunny day picking apples with friends with notes of macintosh apple pear blossom and oak i don't smell any oak i do smell just apple just the macintosh apple i love this definitely a repurchase in a big size and i would recommend anyone to get it from Victoria's Designer Creation, I melted cotton candy clouds, and this was a ice cream scoop, and this is all that's left of it right now, but this could be used for another melt. This is so, so good. This one is one of her main things that I've had. I had such a strong scent grow from this. <clears throat> Amazing, and it lasted two days. I have melted a piece of this in my living room before. I melted a piece of this in my bathroom, and it's grown just as strong. When I had it in my bathroom, it stayed on the whole time because I'm not in my bathroom the whole time. When I had it in my living room, I had to keep shutting it off because it was so strong. So this one I highly recommend. This is just a very, very sweet cotton candy. To me, this is like a dead-on cotton candy scent. So I would recommend it. It's called Cotton Candy Clouds, and it's in... I don't know if I would buy it in the scent shots i would buy it in the ice cream scoops i think they must be stronger because i get higher scent throw from them than i do the cups moving on another one from victoria designer creations in blue hawaii and this i got it from a swap from era making sense i melted this in my daughter's room and this was so good it's just like a blue hawaii drink so sweet I got a strong scent throw out of this and it lasted two days in her warmer and she loved it. Every time she went in her room, she was like, yummy, 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 yummy. So that means she wants to eat it. That's why it's high up. From Sweet Fixations, I melted strawberry and lemonade cake. I have not had good luck with sweet, sensa sweet sensations. This is another one that I got absolutely no scent throw from. So I know some people say it works for them. It does not work for me. So, I don't think I will ever place an order with them. I know that sounds harsh, but... From Front Porch, I melted Ultimate Bakery. And this one seems to be everyone's favorite. It wasn't my favorite. Um, I really enjoy it. I like it. It's a great scent. I smell more apples than anything on this. Which is not bad because I like apples. But I didn't think it was worth all the hype. This one. I did get a strong scent throw. It lasted me two whole days. And I love it. I just don't know if... I think I just expected more because people hype Ultimate Bakery up so much. So I don't think I would repurchase this one. Unless it's like the only one and I just want to buy some for our porch. So... From Front Porch, I also melted pink sugar cookie dough bread, which is amazing. If you ever get a chance to purchase this one, do it. So strong. The pink sugar is so strong, and you can definitely smell the cookie dough bread. So, as always with Front Porch, very strong scent, bro. Lasts very long, and it's just amazing. If you get a chance to buy this one, do it. And then I melted another one of it. See? Two pink sugar cookie dough bread. Then the last one, definitely not least, is from Candles from the Keeping Room. And it's in Rosemary Mint. 
Holy cow, I love this. I didn't get a strong scent throw, but that's because I was melting it in the wrong warmer. I was melting it in a light bulb warmer. Candles from the keeping room is super hard wax, so it needs to be melted on a 24 watt um, hot plate. And that's what I'm gonna do from now on. I love this scent. And I will be making a purchase for a big old bag of this. But that is it, guys. I'm sorry I kept you for 20 minutes. Once again, I love all of you. Like this video if you like it, of course. I'm not going to force you. And don't forget to subscribe. As always, I am free. Love you. Bye.